I really started thinking as we go through this COVID-19 event, how I can help give other entrepreneurs an opportunity to offer their gifts. Hi everyone, this is Rochelle Rizzi of Lebray Noor, and I am here with my good friend and colleague, Dr. Sabrina Starr. here with Tino Chow, here with Rob Dubé, here with Mark Ostash, here with Galen Emanuel, Drew Patrick, with Sarah Gillespie, Nicole Rose, Kate McRae, Mike McCallowitz, Anise Kevin, here with Gina Adams, with Steve Baker, here with John Jan, with Robert Glazer, with Nick Cirillo, with my good friend, here with John Bates, here with Megan Wessel, with my good friend, Jennifer, with Sir Stephen Wilkay, Monica Coleman, I think discipline is the real secret that people need to think about is how are you applying discipline in all aspects of your life? Because we've done the, the legwork and we know that this is going to help people that I, I keep persevering. Now, as a leader, it is essential that we are providing an environment that creates safe space. Yeah, some people say, oh my gosh, my client loves me. I am having impact. How many clients do you have? I have a hundred. How many said that? Well, one. One said that. That's great for that one person, but that's not systemized impact. Impact is where it's consistent transformation. We made sure they knew that our concern with this company was to continue to have a community that takes care of one another. We can't solve it all, you know, and there are just some things that we just kind of give up to God and say, help, where do we go? There's a million reasons not to do something but there's one really big one to do it. It is a team effort day in and day out. And in our world, that means uh, helping each other out. Not everybody's gonna have a great day every day and that's okay. The core of everything and the, and the things that I'm having the most fun of the conversations about right now with leaders, organizations, employees, individuals, is around how are we showing up as a team? You have to slow down to feel your surroundings and oftentimes when we give ourselves the chance to do that, we can see all the goodness around us. Our big game is every moment of our lives. That's our big game, and it's how we show up. I say this internally a lot. It's like how we are in the business of helping leaders do more good, helping leaders be even better versions of themselves. The role of entrepreneur, by its very definition, comes with an embedded role that many people are just not aware of, and that is the role of capitalist. Having those people around you that understand what you're going through and can bring different perspectives and ideas and feedback to the table that are going to help you grow your business and prevent you from making mistakes and spending more time and money, that's important. That's so important. The, the thing about any change, you know, there are people that, uh, that view it very differently. There's certainly a lot of businesses also that, you know, kind of looked at it and said, okay, you know, let's roll up our sleeves, figure out what we have to do now to get closer you know, to what we're trying to accomplish. That, that adaptability is 100% because of the team is adapting and engaged with our culture and our open books. Understanding and being able to articulate your personal core values is, is like the most important thing you can do in life because it's your best decision-making rubric. Because what really hit me is that your leadership presence now is all about your telepresence. So how are you showing up in these calls? Think about your background, think about your lighting. But when you look up what are the top habits of your highest performing leaders, exercise and fitness nutrition are always up there because everyone at that top, top level realizes that you don't get the best and most creative leader if that person is running on fumes. None of us is a human doing. We are human beings. We have interests outside of work and work needs to support our lives. Don't forget this, because if you're struggling, you cannot help others. Be aware of what's going on out there and certainly allow ourselves to feel whatever we're feeling, but to understand that this too shall pass. Nothing lasts forever and this won't either. As I sit here recording this, we are in the first week of 2021. Here in the middle of Michigan in the United States, we have snow on the ground and I'm bundled in warm clothes and loads of hugs from my four young men who continue with their virtual schooling. I'm full of gratitude for all that 2020 brought to me and my family despite of and because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you for being a part of the journey with me. What started as a pandemic inspired project has become a cornerstone of my business and my personal vision. May you each find the gifts, hear the whispers, and find the proper path to follow your own true north this year and always. Much
much love and gratitude from me and the entire team at Lavray Noir. Cheers. <laughs>